In this video, I will be teaching you how to sew your Air Cadet badges on and remove them. This is an important skill to learn and very useful when you need to fix something for yourself. First, you will need to gather your supplies. Most of these things can be found around your home, but if you're missing something, check out your local dollar store. You will need scissors, thread that matches your badge, your badge, a seam ripper, pins, a needle, and the Cat Gen guidelines for correct badge placement. Today, we will be sewing on this badge. If you are interested in learning more about ranks, check out the link above. For the purpose of this video, I will be sewing on a white piece of fabric. Make sure you are working in a well-lit area. Next, put on your tunic and button up the front to ensure it is in the correct position. Refer to the Cat Gen guidelines and have someone help you pin the badge on your tunic. Here's a tip, when you are actually pinning on your badge, don't wear a shirt under your tunic as you will likely pin the badge to it and won't be able to get your tunic off. Enough of me rambling on, let's get to it. Take your needle and a 24 inch length of thread. Thread the eye of the needle and tie the two ends of the thread in two knots. When you start sewing, these knots will secure your first stitch. Start on the inside of your tunic and poke the needle through. Make sure you feel the badge so that the needle will come out to the front edge of the badge. Next, insert the needle down to the front of the badge and pull the needle all the way through to the back of the fabric. Now you will move 2 millimeters to the left and insert the needle through the back of the fabric and the badge pulling the needle out the front side of the fabric. These small stitches will help keep the badge laying flat and will appear almost invisible. Repeat these steps moving all around the badge, making sure to secure the edge of the badge and the tunic with each stitch. Pay special care to each corner. This is a problem area where the badge tends to pull away from the tunic. You will need to end on the inside of your tunic, so make sure once you have completely gone around your badge that your needle is on the inside of your tunic. If you happen to run out of thread halfway through, just repeat the starting process and continue from there. Carefully thread your needle through the tunic behind the badge area, but leave a big enough loop to stick your needle back through. Pull your needle tight after threading it through the loop. Repeat this step one more time. Once you have finished this, Cut the thread 3 inches away from the needle. Separate the thread and tie two knots. Now remove the pins and trim any frayed edges to make it look neat and tidy. You now have completed the sewing portion of this video. When you are removing a badge, it is best to start in a corner. Use a seam ripper and carefully slide it under a stitch and cut it. Once you've cut the stitch, you can gently pull on the badge to make the remaining stitches appear more clearly. Carefully continue to cut the stitches and pull the badge away from the tunic. Once you have completely removed the badge, discard any loose threads or knots.
Congratulations! Now you know how to sew on and remove a badge. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Send in your comments about what other videos you would like to see in the future. See you next time.